check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me, and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. It is kind of old. Here. Birds of a feather. Premium trinkets and doodars. What can I get you?
Pleasure doing business with you. Last Light's best bargains right here! Seems like a good moment to talk. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. Receive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Indulge me. You don't know what you're missing. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? You speak frivolously. I do not believe you grasp the cost of what we're dealing with. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Gatherick Thorn. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. 
Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Without a cure for your infection, your days are number two. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Right here! Do it. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed. Out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Several froze. Begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Prison's the best I can hope for the ones we left behind. Zevlor seemed to think the cult wanted us alive. I almost hope he never found out why. Get the bottle. Hand me the bottle. It's not hard. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. I keep replaying it, over and over in my head. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids, telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first, then his tongue. It just... It just never stops. Roland, of all people, saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Yes. He shielded me and the kids while his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Ronan isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? Heart's Requiem, right? The hero survives a war and rebuilds her life, stronger than ever. A tale worth remembering. Especially now. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. 
the others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Your move, Maul. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one! Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? We're square now, Chief. Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Always laid a fine trap for you, Maul. It looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. I can most certainly believe it. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend, <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. Come now, you'd have me tell you? Spoil all the fun. Suffice to say there's ambition, folly, and death aplenty. The rest, well, I'll let you uncover that yourself. See you soon. Peace. 
I say yes. And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is my territory, and you're in it. Mmm, I'll allow it. I slinked, of course. Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. Take it easy while you can. We'll keep the watch. Mug of ale, 4 CP, chopped cheek, 3 SP, daily special, inquire. What's inside? I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you.
Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good news. Like a nasty little terrier. Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Absolute sees all, you fool. The Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. Isabel. 
Victory awaits. on.
die so quickly. Imperial TV. To kill them. Flank, outsmart.
in my best interest. It's Ali. in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Go already! Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Good, because your work here is only beginning. No mercy, for Ketherick will have none on you. End this. I pity you. Truly.
pity you. Truly. Don't waste a step. Great job protecting Mole. Uh, maybe we should ask someone else. Who? No one has. No one but us. Mole would do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. It is clear, ma'am. Good. The is done, and we don't want any surprises. Yes, ma'am. Less than that. A crime. What's hiding here? 